Krishna Bhakti. And the conception of Aishwarya reduces the ability to serve. Mother Yasoda and all the associates in Vrindavan never had that conception of Aishwarya and therefore they were able to serve totally favorably. Real service has two parts, Gurudev explained there in Puri. One is the relationship with Krishna, the Sambandha, and two is the Seva Vasana, the desire to serve Krishna favorably. Rather, therefore, what Ramananda Rai said about Swadharma, one's own Dharma, would be true. But because he said Vishnu Bhakti means serving by prescribed duties, therefore Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected it. In the conception of Varnashram, this is not pure bhakti, but a rope, siddha bhakti. And every time Ramananda Rai gave a suggestion that was actually a rope siddha bhakti, that is, it's an activity that's not bhakti, it's vaguely related to bhakti, but the idea, the word bhakti is artificially superimposed over it. <coughs> Therefore, <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would reject that suggestion in a rope siddha bhakti. For example, in Varnashram Dharma, the consideration is that by serving my father or by serving my husband, this is Vishnu Bhakti or this brings Vishnu Bhakti. This is Paramais for a Seva. But this is superimposed. Gurudev said, I have to ask myself, is my husband or is my father God? And is that to please God? No, it's based on my material conception of life. He explained that there's two impediments to bhakti. Even if one has a bona fide spiritual master, still there are two impediments. If one cultivates, I am this body, and um, this is mine. I am this body, and material desires, absorption in material desires. So Varnashram Dharma is the service to material relationships thinking that that's service to God in hopes that the Lord will be pleased with me so that I can be happy in this world. There are so many qualities of each Varna and each Ashram which is cultivated in Varnashram. For a king, for example, he should be very truthful, honest, and he should be charitable. There's one beautiful story in this connection that Srila Gurudev told about the same suggestion and rejection when Chilagurde was in Hawaii in the year 2000. There was a great king named Haris Chandra who was fully following the Varnashram system, trying to, thinking that this would please God. He was the most charitable person and the most truthful person and he would never accept any word that was untruth. So Visramitra Muni was thinking, this attachment to Varnashram will impede my desire for him. I desire that Lord Ramchandra appear in his dynasty in the future. So he decided to make a plan. When Harish Chandra was sleeping at night, Visvamitra Muni came to him and as in a dream, he said to him, now you give everything to the Brahmanas, that's also part of Vanashram, that the Kshatriyas give to the Brahmanas. So I want you to give me your whole kingdom. Harish Chandra agreed. And then Visramitra Muni disappeared. The next morning, when Harish Chandra woke up, he forgot everything that happened the night before, but Visramitra Muni came to him in the morning and said, do you remember a dream you had? No, I don't remember. Yes, in your dream, you gave me your entire kingdom. Now that in, in your waking state, you should <coughs> finally fulfill this vow. Well, if I promise, I'm true to my word and I'm charitable to Brahmanas. So then he said, okay, now give me everything that you have. Okay, it's yours. Then Visvamitra Muni said, but whenever you give to a Brahmana, you always have to give a little donation in money also. So give me 10,000 gold coins. Haris Chandra said, treasure, bring me 10,000 gold coins immediately. Visvamitra Muni said, what? He's my treasurer now. You can't give, him, give me anything. It belongs to me. So then he was thinking, well, how can I get the money from my kingdom? This is not your kingdom anymore. 
You can't sell anything. You can't give me anything. So then he was in dilemma. So Mr. Mitra Muni said, well, there's one place that's not my kingdom, and that is the kingdom of Kasi, because Kasi rests on the trident of Lord Shiva, so it's transcendental to my kingdom. You can go there with your wife and son, and you can try and sell yourself, and then you don't forget to pay me, though. So he had no longer any chariots, no longer any horses, nothing. But still he was thinking, I am King Chandra, because part of an ashram is to be attached to truthfulness if you're a Chetriya. So he was thinking, I am still, I'm thinking, even though he lost everything, I'm still the king. So attached to the bodily conception, this is my wife and son. Then when they got to Kazi, he was saying, who will purchase me, who will purchase me? So one owner of a graveyard purchased him for 5,000 gold coins, and a very mean Brahmana purchased his wife for the other 5,000. So he now he has a new identity. His new identity in Varnashram is, I am the keeper of this crematorium. Now, it so happened that Visvamitra Muni, we know, has mystic powers because he can come at night and pretend to be in a dream of uh, Haris Chandra. So by his arrangement, there was a, a great storm, black night, and in that black night, a snake bit Rogi Tasva, Ro, uh, King Haris Chandra's son, and killed him. So the mean Brahmana told the wife, I'm not going to give you anything to help you. I've already bought you for 5,000 gold coins, and that was enough. So his wife took his son in this cold, dreadful, stormy night, looking for how to cremate my son. Naturally, she came to the bank of the Ganges and met her husband. So now he's thinking, now I have a new identity in Varnashram Dharma. So he's thinking he didn't see his wife because it's so dark out. So he said, so I'll cremate your son, no problem, but you have to pay. She said, I have nothing, I have absolutely nothing. Still, somehow or other, you have to pay. All of a sudden, there was a lightning bolt in the sky, and the whole sky became light. And then he could see, oh my God, this is my wife. And this is my son, Rohi Oh no, and he's a dilemma. Am I the king? Am I the husband? Am I the crematorium guard? And he was a complete dilemma. He began crying because, well, maybe she's my wife, even though she's, he sold her already. But then again, I have to be my duty of, and now I'm the crematorium guard. So he said, but still you have to pay. So she said, well, I only have this one cloth that I'm wrapping around my son. I'll give you half. He said, okay, give me half. And just as she was doing that, Visvamitra, Lord Brahma, and so many demigods came. And Visvamitra Muni said, Roy Tassu will be the king. Roy Tassu will be the king. And he looked at the son, and the king son came back to life. And then Visvamitra Muni uh, told Harris Chandra, I did this all to you. I took everything away. Now I'm giving everything back. Your son will be the king. You should go and meditate. Go to heaven, become purified, and then engage in sadhana bhakti, and then you can attain Vishnu bhakti. You're not this body. You're not any of your identifications. You're not Harris Chandra. This is not your wife, and this is not your son. You are part and parcel of Krishna. You should purify yourself in heaven because you have to still taste some of the fruits of your pious activities because you're not yet purified, then you can come back to earth, engage in sadhan bhakti, shravanam kirtanam vishnu, ado shradha tato sadhu sangha, then you can become purified by real vishnu bhakti, and then Ramchandra will appear in your dynasty, and he did. Thank you. When this is look has been quoted from Vishnu Puran, just after this slok, one slok also has been told. Matre hmm? Rishi question and Parasari is answering. Bhuman Manorathan Swargan Swargi Bandham Tathaspadam Pratnokti Aradite Vishnu Nirvanam Api Chauttama. Meaning Earth, wealth, swarga, uttam nirvana gati, nirvana you know? Mukti. Sayuja mukti. Sayuja mukti. Can be achieved by this. Varnashamdhar. Not anything else. Never. So, clearly it shows. 
that by Varnasam Dharma we cannot attain what? Swarupanubandhi and Swarup Siddhavad. It is clear. But why Rayaramananda? Quoted this. Quoted this is slow. Aranya Maharaj answered, there is some chance that if great sages like Vishwamitra, associate of Ram and others oh, can come and associate. And by that then his heart will be purified and then he will proceed to Sarupanunda, Sarupanuga, Sarupanubandhi Bhakti. Otherwise not. And that is why she quoted my story which I told in Puri. Hawaii. Hawaii or Puri. So, you should see that what Harishandra is doing, speaking truth. But what became? Luckily Vishwamitra. He saw that in his dynasty. Lord Ram. Ramchandra, Lord will come. And he is thinking that this gross body, material body, and, and what is I am telling by this mouth, oh, it should be true. But we cannot do like that. We cannot speak true by this body. So he wanted to reform him and to give true knowledge of Sanatana Dharma that is transcendental, this thing. That is why in dream he took his kingdom and then he went to Kashi himself and in the form of any voice Brahmin he took uh, Rohitashva and his wife, wife as a servant, maid servant and boy servant and in a dome uh, oh, he took Harishantra and engaged in that. And what became, you know, he became poisonous snake and <coughs> he was so powerful, he can't do anything. <laughs> and then at last he came <coughs> personally with a Jam Dharmaraj and others and then he returned back his whole kingdom. wealth, kingdom and everything and told him that now you should realize who are you. You are not this body. You are Spartan eternal Spartan. servant of Krishna. You should realize and then you should chant and revenge. You should give up this kingdom and go to forest and there you should chant Om oh, and Krishna. Not only Harishandra. There are so many great rishis, masses. They have sacrificed their life for public. Sivi, Dadiji. Very big, big stories. I don't want to quote all these stories, long stories. But you should know, Deva, demigods came to Dadiji that we want your bone. In living because Vrtasur should be killed. And it will be killed only by your bone. By your living bone. And then he began to laugh. Oh you are very selfish and cruel. But yet I will give. And then he called a cow and took yogurt and sugar, yogurt and sugar. sugar okay. in his body everywhere and they Lick. Uh, Lick. in life time they took all his blood, mm, blood and everything and only bone was there. And by that all oh, that Pajra was done and also remaining a dhanush which was uh, broken by Ramchandra at Janak, Janakpuri. 
चैतन्य महाप्रभु नित्यानंद प्रभु अवधूत he can go everywhere like sukhdev go sami being naked for nothing he has to take from anyone because he is himself naked no uh, need of clothes or wearing or and he can um, without taking anything he can remain from long long years <coughs> but he goes साधु स्वभाव के तारीते पामान निज कार्य जन ही तबे नाउ महाप्रभु रिजेक्टेड इट एंड देन व्हाट ही टोल राय कहे कृष्ण कर्म अर्पण सर्व साध्य व्हाट इज कृष्ण कर्ण अर्पण रेडी यू सर so <laughs> Sri Ramananda Roy suggested the system of following Vaishnava Ashram, but Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, for all the aforesaid reasons, Mahaprabhu rejected that as external. So then, Sri Ramananda Roy quoted one verse from Gita: "Yad karo si yad asna si yad jo ho si dadas yad yad tapasa si kum tayad tayad yad karo si mat arpanam." Krishna says to Arjuna, "Hey Arjuna, yad karo si whatever you do, yad asna si whatever you eat." whatever austerities you perform anything you do do as an offering to me so this is from bhagavad gita and how chaitanya mahaprabhu can reject it so you can understand how high the teachings of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu <coughs> this is called karma arpanam or you can also say like karma mishra bhakti because first it is that person he is enjoying all this he has desire to enjoy all those things for example and then as to purify that thing then he offers that to vishnu but first his desire is first therefore it's called karma mishra bhakti it's one type of bhakti but it's mixed with your own karma your own desires for example guru maharaj one time said there is one devotee <clears throat> he is thinking i will make a garden i'm going to grow eggplants and vegetables and potatoes then i'll take them from the garden then i'll cut them up then i'll cook an offering Then I'll give to Bhagwan. So this seems all right. The Guru Maharaj says, if you do this, you will waste millions and millions of years, because you are offering everything to Bhagwan, but you have not not offered yourself. Mm. Therefore, this is one type of karma mishra bhakti. <clears throat> like Sri Bali Maharaj, <coughs> Bali Maharaj, he offered a donation to Bhagwan <coughs> Bhaman. So Sri Bhaman Dev said, okay, I just want three steps of land. So he made a promise. With the first step of land, Bhagwan Bhaman Dev took. to the topmost planet the second planet the second step he took to the bottom planet then bali maharaj he realized oh i am so foolish i have given everything to bhagwan but i have not given myself to bhagwan i have not performed shrup siddha bhakti only i am performing some type of arup siddha bhakti then i have given the whole universe but i have not given myself then pure intelligence came he said oh yes put your foot upon my head i completely offer myself i perform shrup siddha bhakti So that is the difference. But therefore, Mahaprabhu also rejected these things. 
Because the devotee, for example, he thinks, I like pizza, but this Bhagavan like pizza, I don't care. I like pizza, I'm cooking pizza, I'm offering to Bhagavan, and after Bhagavan eats it or not, I don't care. But I'll take that thing. Therefore, this one type of karma on Mr. Bhakti. Therefore, all these things, because the devotee's first consideration is his own enjoyment, but anyhow, at least he's giving something to Bhagavan at the end of it. Therefore, it's a little okay, a little mixed with Bhakti. But because it's not pure Bhakti, Mahavru rejects it. One other uh, interesting reason why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is rejecting uh, Ramananda Roy's suggestions. Of course, we should understand, Rudev asked the question, why Ramananda Roy knows so many transcendental things, why he's starting here at the very first beginning steps and then working his way up. Like the Brihad Bhagavatamrita, we can see by the different gradations of devotees how glorious the gopis are, by comparison. It's not, not very easy to understand something if we don't have something to compare it next to. Let's say, for example, we say, oh look, like Dr. Tamal Krishna, he used to be like a great uh, wrestler. You can see his big body and he was a great wrestler. So we could say, oh, he could, he could defeat 15 men in the arena. I'm like, oh, that's very impressive. But then if we actually see Dr. Tumal Krishna take on 15 big brahmacharis and put them all down on the ground, then we think, whoa, that's pretty impressive. So by comparison, we see actually how strong he is. So by comparison, we're going to be led up through all these different stages. So then when we get to the real sadhya, then we will understand how glorious and great and uh, it is, and what a, what a job we had ahead, have ahead of us. Because actually these two, actually first four verses that uh, Ramananda Roy gives as evidence, uh, Lord Chaitanya rejects them. Then the next three says, well, they're okay, but keep going. Then he gets to Sruv Anabandi. Uh, he describes Dasha Ras in uh, the, the mood of servitorship, the Supreme Lord. But Lord Chaitanya still just says, it's okay. Now, why did he reject that? And the next step, he said, Sakyaras. And now, Lord Chaitanya says, oh, say Uttama. This is, this is highest thing. This is good. And you can keep going now higher. Because in Dasharas, it is not actually still in Braj. So Lord Chaitanya wants Ramananda Roy to take us all to Braj. And actually, these processes, Varnashram, Yet Kuroshi, Sarvadharma, these, these are not actually sadhya. They're not actually the goal. They're actually different sadhans for different ends or, or goals and steps. They're not the goal itself. So that's another reason he's rejecting it, because he actually hasn't stated the goal itself in these verses. So what do you mean by karmarpan? Karmarpan. This, uh, well, Bhajapad, uh, Damodar Varsh also described very nicely. You're making an offering, but it's, uh, it's not done on the platform of Srupanabandi of the soul, giving of the soul's uh, self love to Krishna. What is karma arpan? Karma arpan. Only that. Offering of one's, the fruits of one's activities to Krishna so that it will become purified. It is very good. Why it is fault? Why is there a fault? Because uh, it is not completely on the transcendental platform, spiritual place, not done with the soul. These are things done with this uh, body and senses and mind. Like in the verse, um, Kriti Sadhya Bhavet Sadhya uh, Sadhana Sadhapida. This is done with the body, mind and senses, not with the soul. Karmarpan. What we are doing? What we are eating, what we are drinking, what we are doing, anything in this. We should give the fruit to Narayan or Vishnu. Actually, who are to give? Are you doer? I said, you are not doer. Who is doing karma? Who is doing karma? So, there are so many. 
There are so many things. Prakriti. Satra Tamgun. Somewhat Jeev. Somehow the will of Krishna. Krishna or Vishnu here. All making all these karmas, you are not doer of the karma. And if you are not doer of the karma, how you can offer? offer. offer. You cannot offer. So, here, we can, but it has been told that you should do. Jachat Tat Narayanam Samar Yashimad Bhagavat also. Because you cannot do more than that in first stage. So it has been told. Whatever you do, better you should think that to please Krishna and to please the associate of Krishna. This is more best. And if you cannot do, then to Krishna or Vishnu you should offer all the good fruits. What? Um, Gurudev, in Badger, uh, you were talking about these things and I asked you a question at the end of the class. If I go on book distribution and I distribute a book, I'm not proud, but I'm just thinking, oh, I distributed a book. But who actually distributed the book? And you said, Guru Dave distributed. You cannot even create a dry straw. And also in Puri you said, if a disciple gives a donation to Sri Guru, then you'll say to him, somebody gave you a donation, and you said to him, you can't give me a donation because it's already mine. You have nothing. Everything is mine and appears to be yours. You can only give pranami, but you cannot give donation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu told it. Oh, rejected it. Yehovah. And then Mahaprabhu Oh. So it has been told further. Jagya that karma nuho. Am loka am karma vandana tadatham karma kanteya mukta sangha samachara. Whatever you do to please Krishna, that is called jagya. Hmm? If you are not doing like this, not for Krishna, to please Krishna, then it will be karma bandhan. It will be bonded. It will be bonded. That is why Tadartham Karma Kanteya. O Kanteya, you should do all the activities, top to beginning, to please Krishna. Mukta Sangha Samachara. Don't be attached to anything. This is mine. This body is mine. These are mine. These are sons. These are daughters. Mine. Oh, give up all these things. And then to please Krishna, you should do. Then you will not become, you, you cannot come in the bondage of Maya. Also, there are so many. Subhasu phala raivam, moksha se karma vandane, sannyas, jog jog bhatma, bimukto mamu paishasi. Oh, so many. Now, uh, Mahaprabhu told that iho padya. And then he told, Karmatya is Sarvasadhasa. In the meantime, oh, he will show his magic and entertainment will be done and then mind will be fresh and you can hear more.
cigarettes. The cigarette smokes, the person's just a sucker on the end. <laughs> I won't lie, but doesn't it look ridiculous on people when they smoke? You know, you have that. <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> Women smoking. Yeah, the box on his head. 
I know the solution. Drugs. Yes, we have many drugs in our hospital. And, uh, the funny farm. <laughs> we'll take him to the funny farm. <laughs> I think you should all come to the funny bar. <laughs> this is Professor B. A. Loon, by the way. <laughs> Doctor B. A. Loon. Used to be Professor Fool, but he thought he'd upgrade to B. A. Loon. Is that all? Would you like to take him away? Yes. Why can you bring the ambulance? Can you put him in an institution? Just one straight jacket. Just one straight jacket. So what do you recommend? Prozac? Uh... <laughs> Coming. Thank you. Thank you, B.A. Loon. Just as he's failing in the depths of depression, society comes along and really lands on you. Are you being successful in life? Huh? Are you making lots of money? Are you exploiting someone? Is it any wonder that he suffered from nervous breakdown? Now, nervous breakdown is a door to self-realization. Now, not only... Just sitting up. Turn that light off there, please. The right one. No photographs, please, for this uh, next uh, segment. Because not only did he lose his mind, but he also lost his head. Any sharp light might detract and cause big shock. What is the remedy? Oh, hark, in the distance I hear some chanting, some singing. Coming from where? Where is? Who is the next act? Who is he? Fuck this up. He hears the chanting, the holy names in the distance.
We can take the lid off his life. <laughs> yeah. He's breathing again. That wasn't down there. What do you think it's like to move from on? So anyway, we dug deep. And we pulled out the scarring stump that was permeating his heart. Krishna, 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 Krishna,